We propose a novel and stable formulation of neohookian elasticity that is well suited for flesh simulation. Our model not only inherits the high visual quality of neohookian models, but is robust to extreme rotations and inversions and exhibits excellent volume preservation. We begin by exploring the behavior of common hyperelastic models on a cylindrical stretch test. The standard co-rotational formulation exhibits extreme volume loss under tension, while the fixed co-rotational model produces distinct artifacts when stretched. In contrast, our proposed stable Neohookian model produces an artifact-free simulation with good volume-preserving behavior. Other variants of Neohookian elasticity typically introduce new user-facing parameters, and failure to correctly set these parameters can lead to simulation artifacts. Our model only contains two physical parameters that directly control the look of the simulation. The net result is a simulation that is both easy to control and artifact-free. Our stable Neohookian model behaves well in settings that require good volume behavior with aggressive Poisson's ratios. To explore the importance of volume conservation in flesh animation, we simulate a closing arm under progressively larger ratios. Notice that we only obtain convincing bulging effects when we approach a ratio of one half. This experiment underscores the need for a model that behaves well at large Poisson's ratios. To evaluate the robustness of our model with large Poisson's ratios, we crush a cube of material to a perfectly flat square. Even without the aid of a dynamic mass matrix regularizer, our model is able to recover its original rest pose. Pushing the stress test even further, we randomly scramble the cube's vertices within a space of twice its rest volume. Under these extreme conditions, our model still recovers its rest pose. We now explore the behavior of our model on a production-inspired quasi-static flesh simulation. The first input to our simulation is a set of kinematically scripted, rigid bones. Next, we use a triangle mesh to represent the surface skin. From this surface, we extract a volumetric hexahedral lattice. The rigid bones are now used to kinematically drive the lattice, which in turn carries the skin forward in time. The resulting simulation exhibits many flesh-like behaviors. The material forms a cavity behind the collarbone, the material bulges under compression, and the material maintains its overall shape under tight contact. If we attempt this simulation with the co-rotational model, we see major artifacts in the back and in the bicep. Increasing Poisson's ratio with co-rotational improves the appearance of the biceps, but causes significant further volume loss in the back and in the trapezius. In a second production-inspired example, we explore the quasi-static simulation of a hand, again with a hexahedral lattice driven by a collection of scripted bones. The input bone animation contains many challenging configurations, including intersections between the bones and extreme poses not possible in real physiologies. Our model is robust under these conditions, producing stable simulation results when pushed to these non-physical extremes. With our stable Neohookian model, we observe bulging when the flesh is compressed, the formation of wrinkles, and the preservation of coherent structures, including the webbing between the thumb and the pointer finger. Our stable Neohookian model is also well suited to dynamic simulations. As a test, we crush a dynamically simulated tetrahedralized octopus between four cylinders. We now hide the cylinders to see the deformation more clearly. If we pause during the first compression phase, we see that many features have been crushed to paper-thin sheets. With our stable Neohookian model, the octopus is able to immediately pop back into shape. Thank you.